First click on the button that says sign in to the console. In the search bar you can type EC2 in order to access the main page for provisioning and management. Next under instances. You can select the option launch instances. We will select the default option, Amazon Linux. Next make sure to create a new security group for our instance. You should add the key pair name and also the key pair type. Restrict it to only allow connections from specific trusted IP addresses or ranges. Check the Allow HTTP Traffic from the Internet option. Confirming the selected options in the summary and proceed to launch the instance. You will get the notification that the instance is successfully launched and return to your instances list. Using our instances menu and clicking connect. Here we will see a new menu where we will select the SSH client menu item. Modify the key's permissions to ensure it's not accessible to the public. Next we will use the SSH key to connect to our instance. Fetch the latest updates for our system. We need a Nginx web server for our static website. And also for the purposes of reverse proxy for our Nodays application. Now we need to start and enable our Nginx web server. So it starts every time we boot our instance. Install no days on our system. Verify our no days and NPM. Create a directory where we will store our app.js file. Next we can change the ownership. So that the owner is our egg2 user. Create a new file called apps. Press I to enter the edit mode and paste the following code. Now we can save the file by pressing ESC and colon WQ. Create the required package for our script. Install Express for our project. Create a new configuration file for our app. Paste following content. Test our Nginx syntax to make sure that everything is good. Now we want to restart Nginx. First make sure that you are in Home Node Up Directory. We can run our application. Install Express for our project again. Run our application again. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.